Hey there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me for a brand new episode with Academia School Simulator. And we'll have to dive straight into some research. And one of the things I want to get is the staff only facility. So let's go this way. Make sure that our employees are happy and we get staff only facilities. Now here we can see the overall look out of the school, the different classrooms per year, the outside running track, the court, the field and the swimming pool and all the inside stuff. So it's time to zoom in a bit to get a closer look and see if everything will work out, if everything will go fine as we start day two. Now, I know we are losing a bit of money, quite a bit actually, but a year has only consisted of nine days, so we'll lose around 120,000 just by this. So we have some money to spend still, and that's what we're going to do. So hopefully once the researchers come in, we can make a teacher's lounge and a staff facility and stuff like that. Um, but I'm also thinking, and we'll have to see if we can build those yet, but I think so, the neutral toilet. Um, and I'm thinking we're going to do a neutral toilet right there. Uh, just because I like it that way. So we need to put a floor in there, which will be the um, ooh, Azuleus tile. Oh, I like that. Let's place this in here. And then we'll go to the objects towards the toilet and see if we can make uh, something nice out of it. We need a few urinals, of course. Uh, no, I don't think so. We're just going to do cubicles. Because it's a gender neutral toilet, so no male stuff in there, no specific female stuff, just the regular stuff. And there we go. Well, this should be done fairly quickly as soon as they finish with the grass, of course. All right, employee welfare is done. That means um, we can build a lounge for them. So let's get going with that. Now I thought we can do a teacher's lounge and a um, staff lounge. So we'll have to go to the uh, services, I think. Or is it admin? Yeah, the faculty lounge and the staff lounge. So we'll do a faculty lounge right here and a staff lounge right there. Now I think they both need the same um, items in there. So that's making it pretty easy. Of course they want a floor. What type of floor should we get them? Oh, I think they like a sandstone floor. You know how teachers are, they always make a mess, so we better make sure that um, we keep things nice and tidy. Now, let's see, one coffee machine, a sofa, a TV and a microwave. All right, let's rotate, we'll put in the coffee machine. Ooh, we have an event. That's very cool, let's accept. A salesman offers to sell you Van Gogh quality paints used by the great master. All right, we'll buy those. Let's see if we can get this art point. Yes, we did. Very good. All right, we have a coffee machine here. A microwave, but there's no microwave in here. So what's the deal with that? That's kind of interesting. Well, we can put in a few lounges. I guess we'll have to find a microwave in another way. We'll put in some chairs for them as well so that they can sit by the table. But I wonder where the microwave is. It's not here at this point. Um, I don't think it's in the office as well. Faculty lounge. Ah, there it is. We are building the faculty lounge right now, so we uh, needed this one. Well, and a TV. All right, well, we'll put in a TV as well. Well, this should do the trick for the, cafe, the uh, faculty lounge. Everything should be in there. Now we can go to the staff lounge. I just made a little mistake and clicked the wrong thing. Let's do two coffee machines for the teachers because, well, they're usually the ones that um, drink the most. All right, let's do it like that. So we'll put in a hand sanitizer. We'll put some tables in here as well so that they can relax. And uh, yeah, this should be nice. Let's see. Uh, build a faculty lounge. Well, we are busy with that. Yeah, we got this grant done as well. Accept problematic transferees. Well, the problem is if we go to see the years that the freshman year is full and the rest we have space in. So 
We might later on um, do it differently, but we can't accept the freshmans, so that's not going to happen. This isn't going to happen either. No six students for a few days. Hmm, not sure. S assign at least one student to counseling. Now we can get some prestige with that, so let's do so. We'll do it with that right now. Um, but I think these staff lounges will help make our staff be more happy. Now we get the um, better coffee. So let's go to the cafeteria or the faculty lounge. Yeah, they should have espresso, which give them a bonus. These should give them a bonus too. It'll cost a little bit of money, but that's fine. All right, let's do another research. Um, increased worker range and worker routing. Now we can route the workers to go to certain areas where they really need to um, make sure that we um, repair stuff like the toilets, etc. So that can be a very good thing to unlock. And all in all, slowly the school is taking more shape. We can see all the teachers here. Doing their bits and pieces. Very nice. Well, they'll go to work soon. We'll see how that goes. Let's go over to school, see if, yeah, there's some things broken. Not too many, but just a few. All right, these are going to hang out here, apparently. Do some hanging time, work a routing. Ah, oh, that's nice. I actually don't want to put too many workers into routes at this point because that will keep them off other jobs. And I have to say, I don't see any broken stuff. So that's actually quite good. Now worker range will go up so we can already look for what else we want to do. Um, maybe this one, go to quality toilet paper. It will cost us a thousand, six thousand, so that's seven, eight, nine and a half. Eleven and a half. That'll be interesting. Is there anything else that is really interesting and worthwhile? Well, we can do some electricity rationing and water rationing. That will save us some money. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Let's continue for now. We'll see what we do next. We do need to math. We do have to increase our income soon. But the problem was this year that we could not get all the classes filled. And hopefully next year we can. And that should put us out of debt. And that should work. So who knows? Well, they're all quite busy. Increased worker range completed. Good. We're going to do some dishwashing so they can wash the dishes more quickly. Well, they're doing a good job in the computer lab. Everybody's running around. Still plenty of space in the school. Wish we could add students right now. But we can't. Right, let's go over the zones. We have all of this, so that's not a problem. We have all the classrooms. We have... We don't have a staff cafeteria yet, I think. Hmm. I don't think we do. Do we need it? That's the question, of course. I don't think so. Well, we could build one, for instance, right here and put a little kitchen in here and just change the door to this place. Uh, but I think that's also quite costly to do. But I wonder what good it will do in the end. Will it really benefit us or not? So. Ah, uh, we'll try it, we'll try it. Let's just give it a try. We need to improve the school anyway. So, um, let's build another wall. Right there. And let's build a door right here. Then we'll have to place some objects. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, we need to place a floor and stuff first, of course. My mistake, my mistake. A kitchen tile. That's good. We'll lay some brick tiles here. Uh, yeah, and there. 
now we can go to the objects. We need at least a stove. Well, I think two stoves will do the trick. That means one refrigerator and a kitchen sink. And then we can go to the cafeteria and place tables right here. Can we do it like this? Yes. All right. Well, this will give us quite a few places to sit on. Then we need a plate counter and a food counter. And I think this should do the trick. Uh, we have two cooks in here now. I'm not sure if we need two cooks each. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we now have the um, staff cafeteria. I hope that, that really adds something and that makes them more happy and work better or something like that. That would be worthwhile. Otherwise, we might have done something and just wasted money. But it's okay. It's okay. Who cares? At least we're having fun and we're filling in more of the buildings and the, the rooms that we've created. So that's good. Although I'm not going to spend all my money now because we need to save some money. And we need to take into account that we might not even get enough students in next year to really totally get out of this debt. So we need to save some money for that as well. Ah, we'll see. I think we're going to spend about another 70,000. Is there anything we can do next? Activity hall, but I don't think it'll really... Ah, well, let's do faster cooks. That will be nice. Here comes the students. Thinker School is doing pretty okay, though. We can see that they're already learning quite a lot at a good pace. And, of course, we had quite a few teachers in the pool learning. Hopefully, they get very good. And then next year, we can maybe learn, or not learn, but really train another batch and then make them all better all the time. That would be great. All right, so... They're really taking this music lesson seriously. Nice. I think if we can add two more classrooms next year and really fill everything up, that that will really benefit us. Extra student population. Yeah, but we, we're not filling this one yet, so that's not working. We'll do, no, not really janitor priority, I think, because we don't need it at this point. Have to be a little bit picky with what we do. Um, we might go for these two, but they're very expensive. Just to reach that is quite expensive, but we will also save a little bit of money on it. So, yeah, this will only increase the food production, but it will not save us any money. So... I think we should leave it this way. Um, let's go to delinquency. Yeah, we have a bully. We have to assign it to counseling. So they have to find him. Yeah, counseling, delinquent, complete. Very good. What else can we do? Schedule recess to 3 p.m. All right, we'll pause for a second. We'll apply. Then we'll go to the schedule. Uh, then we're just going to move this recess. Now it's done. Now we go back. Just like this, but now we've completed this one. Oh, that's nice. We have a playing field. We can do project management. Oh, this will get us back some money. That's very good. We have a staff lounge. Expanding horizons. Ready, set, go. Maintenance workers. Yeah, we still have to do that. Build a staff toilet. That might be something. Discovering history. Swimming labs. Arts and crafts, full court press, prison architecture. Ooh, we're making a lot of money now. Beautifications, computing. 
Ah, accept freshman students, junior students. That's good. We can do that. Let's see. Let's open this one up. We don't have space for freshmen, but we can hire sophomore students. So let's apply for that one. We'll apply for five senior students and we'll accept five juniors. We can easily fit those in. That's good. Energy conservation, the scientific method. We'll apply for that. School expansion to 100. Small classrooms we have. This is all good money. Energy conservation. Yeah, we don't have that yet. To 200. Yeah, we have that one too. Schoolkeeper. Yes. Underachiever. Yes. Now oh, we have to get to that one. All right. Well, I have to say... Did a lot of nice things. Um, I think we can go for the um, energy conservation one because we now have 300,000. So what we're going to do is do these researches now. Get to water rationing and electricity rationing. Because when we do, we can build those and save some money on that. We already saved money apparently, so we did quite good already. That's the nice thing with all these grants. Now I would like to remove some of the blueprinting here because I don't like those white lines at the doors that you see every now and then. But now, yeah, here's still some white lines as you can see. So let's get rid of those. There's still dirtiness there. So we'll have to build some flooring. It's good that I check that. So they don't walk over those nasty pieces of ground and get sick. I don't want that. Let's build some flooring all over those places. You can see all the white lines are gone here, so that's good. A random event. The health inspector has shown up at school. Bribe the inspector to give you a good rating. Your school is filthy and you may be penalized. Ooh. Uh, I wanted this one, but apparently the school is not clean. Oh, we came off with a warning. That's nice. Well, that worked so far. Um, well, we have a gender neutral toilet here, so I think we can do a staff toilet right there. Guess I would like that. And then at least we have it, so that's a good thing. Let's build a floor in there, the bathroom tiles, of course. And then we go to the toilet. So finally, our staff can go to the toilet as well. Now we'll have to take into account that we have male and female staff. So we'll only do a few of those urinals. And a lot of sinks. All right, maybe we can even hang up a hand sanitizer here and there. That's it. Perfect, so now we have a staff toilet. Which is also one of these missions, I believe. So, yeah, right there. So we can finish that one later. Outlet store research complete. Good. That means that we can buy uh, our goods a little bit cheaper, I believe. Which is a very nice addition. Would like to hire some more cleaners, but we can't afford them yet. So that's not a particularly good idea to do right now. But with this, we can really... Um, spent a bit of money. That's fine. We can deal with it. And we should make this into grassland. I'm not, not sure what it will cost me, but probably not too expensive. Oh, 9,000. Let's do it. Because then there's only good grassland and stuff, and they should not be getting so filthy anymore. Very nice. So I think I'm going to go over most of these doors entrances now just to check if there's no left with still dirt, dirty ground because they get sick and they spread a lot more uh, filthiness all over the place. I can see some blueprinting still here. So that's gone as well now. That's good. Also, these indoors we need to check. Yeah, these are all good. This is all good now. So this should help keep the school a little bit more clean. 
Of course, we need to hire just quite a few janitors and give them some routing. But because we can't hire enough, I'm not actually going to give them routes because then they will only do those routes and the rest will still stay filthy. And that's not what we want. Ah, here we have to do a little repair. How many do we have actually, cleaners? We have six. Do we have six? Yeah, only six. So how much do they cost per day? 200. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. This will cost me an extra thousand a day, but it is what it is. We saved some money with the water one. Uh, so let's do electrici electricity rationing now, so we can save some money there as well. And we still have more than the two grant we had when we started, so hmm, that went quite well. And I hope these extra janitors will do a bit good in helping out cleaning everything a bit more. Although I don't think we'll score that good with a clean school this time. Do we already have janitor routes? Yes, we have. All right, so these toilets will already be maintenance, so that's good. What we could do, of course, is add another route. Like this. Five, all right. Oh, this is a route, so let's add it like that. Good. Uh, let's clean this one, or repair this one. So now he can keep all of this clean. And maybe we should do the same here, so that we are sure that all of these are cleaned up. Guess that's quite important. So add a route. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, this, no. Um, let's delete this route because it's not complete. One, two, three, four, and then we need to complete it. Five. That's it. All right. So let's hope this helps in keeping this clean. Yeah, we can see he's working there now. That's good. Let's go over some of the rooms. Do we need to do some repairing? Apparently not. Oh, that's good. Ah. We unlocked a grant. Great, let's see. Because we also had the uh, staff toilets one done. Let's see, school staff cafeteria, yes, that makes me some extra money. Multiple kitchens, that was not what we're going to do. Place a water pump. Well, we need to research it first, I think. Yeah. All right, let's go for this. Then we'll just place one water pump. And then we will go with the uh, bigger ones. I don't know what they're called. Motorized water pumps. I think that's good. That can save us more money. But yeah, getting all these grants really supplies us with just a bit of money that we really need. Well, apparently they're all doing very good. It's day five and well, in most subjects they do good. They all lack in one or two. Oh, junior could have a better, few better teachers, I think. But hmm, I'm, I'm happy with this. It's just year two at this new school. We are building a massive school out of nothing. So having it go the way it, it is now, hmm, I'd say it's okay. Of course, the other school's doing better, but well, maybe we can catch them. And I do love the fact that we have these small classrooms because they give you the best bonus in class. Plus eight. Of course, we get a plus 20 bonus because there's nobody in there, but that's not how it's going to work. We need to get people in there, so. We'll see. All right, water pumps being researched. We're at the end of day five. Yep, there they all go. Then the staff will continue for a while. Then they will go as well. Well, looks great. Although we still need to do some more cleaning, I think. But yeah. 
All right, so this space is pretty much filled up with cool stuff. So I think we should start with pumps, etc. in this corner. Or we should do it along the north side of the place. So let's see. Utilities, yeah. So we can place a water pump here. Let's see, I'll just do one because that's what the um, uh, grant said. And we'll leave it like right there. I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, but after that, we're going to get to the motorized pumps. But this should help us save money, and that's very, very powerful. All right, sustainable electricity. That's the next one that we can do. So let's already apply for that. As soon as this is done, we're going to, for this one. How much does this actually save us? 40 a day. Well... That's not that much, but it's something, and we need like a hundred to actually save the amount of water that we uh, we want. But if we get to the um, uh, motorized pump, we can save a lot more money, I think. We'll see. It'll be done in a few hours. Maybe I should get rid of this, but it'll even cost me money to get rid of it, and uh, that's not worth it. I think the water pump is two by two. If it is the case, I'll build one extra of these so that I can keep everything aligned nicely. Well, all classes are busy. Things look good. Any repairs to be done? Yes, right here is one. But that's the good thing. We have uh, plenty of everything. So we can actually do... Um, Let's do these now. We can actually just do the repairs every now and then because they all have plenty of stuff. We don't need to worry about it. All right, music rooms are working. Everything's good here. Art room, yes. All right, let's go here. Let's check. The, motor oh, the motorized water pump is the same size. So it will cost me a thousand, but this will save me up to a hundred a day. All right, interesting. So how much does this cost if we build like 15? 20,000. I'm curious to see. Because this should save us quite a bit of money. We save... Yeah, this is working out well. Great. Well, we're not there yet. We can save even more. So I think we should. Um, but this is really helpful. It uses a little bit of electricity, so we'll need to get some electricity as well. Yep, we're over halfway with all the water costs, so that we're saving now. But we have plenty of money at this point. Let's just continue, because now we're only spending 9,000 a day, which means that even in 10 days, which is more than a school year, we only spent 90,000. All right, we're there. I think we've done a little bit too much, but that's okay. We now have no water costs anymore. And solar panel is now done. I don't think we're going to place that right here. We're going to start in this corner now. Uh, let's place one solar panel. Because that's what the grant says. And then we're going for the um, wind turbine. Yep, there it is. Is there one for, like, the wind turbines and stuff? No, I don't think so. Achiever, school expansion, linking up. Yeah, that's... This is it. So... At this point... There's no more grants that we can take already. But it's good. This is working out. We'll wait for the wind turbine, I believe. That's the bigger one then. But we'll have to wait until it's done and then we can build it. And we can save another 2,000. Then we will only spend uh, about 6,000 a day too much. And we don't actually need that many students to fix that. So that can really help us progress and, and get, things, um, get things working out. So, ooh, I'm curious to see if we can um, really lower this. And if we spend only 6,000 too much, 
that means that for a full year we only need like what is it uh 54 54000 yeah this is ooh this is even bigger so we'll place two more solar panels just to fit that space this will save me 50 in electricity cost so we'll do 14 and then we'll see how far we get along we're not there yet i think but we'll see another day well the school keeps running nicely so I'm not going to check on everything all the time. We don't have to. Yes, here they go. Well, this number went up quite a bit. I don't know why. Apparently we started spending extra. Water is still good. We now save 751 on electricity. So yeah, I'm not going to spend too much more money on this. I think this is nice. Any research at this point? Uh, I think I'm going to go through that one. Maybe we can assign just a few to clean up stuff like the floors and some that will only pick up trash. And Because I, I mainly think we need quite a few floor sweepers because the floors are usually dirty, but that's about it. So maybe we can do something with that. Um, I don't think that's a... Um, yeah, we need to create two worker routes with one worker assigned. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to put those in this toilet area just to make sure that all the toilets stay good. So let's go to a worker route. Add a route. Um, we'll start right here. And then we'll go to this one. And then it will complete in this one and then he should be ah that's it all right nice he will keep that working i think um i didn't know we already had another one but we're going to add another route one here one two three oh well this is the completion of the route so that's it yes that's working. I think we unlocked something else. Router logistics. Yeah, that's fine. Not going to go into that now. It's day seven. So it's day seven, day eight, day nine. And then this year will be over. So let's get things going. We lose 7,600. Hmm, all right. Well, not too bad. Let's repair that one. Usually in my offices, the fax machines and stuff keep breaking down. But this time, it really doesn't. And that's really interesting. It's good. I like it this way. And yeah, this all looks fine. Sorry, I had a little cough there. Um, well, nothing to do here. Great. Well, we're getting closer to a new school year, which will be excellent to add more students to this. Um, I did think that we had a um, cleaning route there already. Yeah, we do have a janitor route here. I guess it's just really filthy here. But they can, they manage, they manage because well, when it gets really filthy, you see all the other janitors and stuff come in, and uh, it it is quite a bit busy. But that's okay. Let's see, um, because it said right here, janitor priority, micromanage your janitors and let them know which specific piece of trash to pick up. Unlock janitor priority button in the logistics menu. All right, Prior janitor priority, prioritize dirt litter and pee for janitors to clean. Only janitors without a route will respond to the priority area. Dirt, litter and pee. Alright, so I can prioritize this area. Apparently, and then they will go in and clean. Oh, this is good. 
That means that if I think, oh, well, this area is a bit dirty, I can clean it fairly quickly, I guess. And the ones with their route will just continue to do their route. Oh, that's nice. So I can just click this whole piece and all the janitors will come rushing and clean everything here, I guess. Yep, that's what they're doing. Ah, this is a way to get the school clean quickly. We'll just do it like this and now all the free janitors will come rushing in. Very nice. Looks good. Well, all the students are leaving. Now, this should be the end of this episode because it has been over half an hour and everybody's leaving the school. We're starting day eight. As soon as we start day eight, we'll end this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.